I can't, I can't with myself. Um, I thought this fight, this title was just a lot more appropriate to how I feel, so, um, we're going with I Summon the Softies and the Emos, because I'm really professional at, uh, social media. <laughs> hey, Queen, hello, I want to answer questions. They're all going to come up and be like, oh, show me a photo, um, because that is how... Yeah, it works. Darn it. I want to answer questions. Hello. Ow. If you're watching this and you're a softie, comment you're a softie on my new picture. There we go. There we go. I'm good at the self-promo shit. <laughs> and if you're an emo, go comment. Just comment your just comment your emoji aesthetic, honestly, because I like didn't know if I was using let me know. Like, did I use the right emojis to summon all of you guys? Like you know, the, people have an emoji aesthetic, I swear, like, I mean, there's a reason everyone is different recently used, I mean, there's more, that's a pretty dumb thing, of course, everyone is different recently used emojis, but, like, you know, I feel like there's, like, if you were asked to describe your friends with emojis, you would have a certain answer, it just fucking comes to mind, sometimes you can't even explain it, like, sometimes you can't even explain why certain people you know, like, there's some bitches that, like, really would take the dragon emoji in my head. And, like, I can't exactly describe why, but they just have dragon emoji. So, anyways. <laughs> I want to answer questions, but they won't come up. I'm sad. Oh my god, I just got one. Wow. Yay! Okay. How do you handle with uncomfortable conversations with people? Ooh, um... Do you mean, like, strangers or, like, people you know? <laughs> um, I guess, for me, when it comes to... I I'm thinking of, like, someone in public being inappropriate or, like, you don't like talking on the phone, which is something I really don't like. Um, like, unless I'm really close with someone, I really hate talking on the phone with strangers. It just gives me so much anxiety for some reason. I don't know. It's always been something I didn't like. Um, I mean, I don't think anyone necessarily enjoys it, but it, like, makes me uncomfortable. Um, like, if I order food and I have to explain where my house is, it, like, makes me angry. And I'm like, why am I angry? <laughs> like, this is not a big deal. Um, people are- comment your emoji aesthetic on my new picture because I might miss them in the chat. Um, but anyways, <laughs> how do you handle those conversations? Well, um... Okay, number one, someone told me this like two weeks ago when I was, or maybe it was like three weeks ago when I was talking about how I hate talking on the phone with people I don't know, um, to have like a, like a transcript and, you know, just know exactly what you're going to say because I have sometimes like when you're, when you're just like, you know, you're, you're not yourself and you're not comfortable, you're not going to be able to really, like it's going to, the goal is to get from point A to point B as quickly as possible so you cannot be uncomfortable anymore. So, you know, memorize your lines. Like, okay, if, you, if you know, something that comes up in your life, you know, you have to talk on the phone because of this. Like, you need to give directions a lot. Like, literally, like, write it down as a note on your phone exactly, you know, how to share your directions so that, you know, you don't need to be like, uh, I think you go, you know what I mean? Um... And it just, like, it just makes it a lot less stressful because you're just reading off of something you already wrote, uh, wrote. Oh, my God. Wow. Okay, let's see. Someone said they want to mutate into a sloth. Well, there we go. <laughs> Funniest reaction to you coming out. So, the first homophobic comment I got was from someone... <laughs> God, I, hate I mean, I thought it was funny. Um, they commented, like, they used their dog's Instagram. It was Ming Ming the Shih Tzu. Fucking Ming Ming, I'm gonna save you, bitch, from your from, from your horrible owner that is using your name to be homophobic. Dogs are not homophobic, trust me. Um, <laughs> literally, like, told me I'm going to hell with, like, 20 fire emojis, and I was like, Ming Ming, like, no, like, that's a, <laughs> that's a lot of fire emojis. <laughs> Must have been, like, like, literally created, like, a little emoji picture of hell with tons of fire emojis. I don't know. I thought that was really funny, honestly. I know Ming Ming, the Shih Tzu, is not homophobic. <laughs> um, but how fucking dare you use your dog's Instagram page? Because the dog wasn't homophobic. How dare you? I say, you know, 
I say we all rally up and we save Ming Ming because, you know, that is, that is slander. Um, all right. <laughs> Sorry, it's something I'm really passionate about. <laughs> Uh, I've been doubting my best bisexuality lately because of what people have told me and I seem to feel straighter. I don't know what to do. Oh, I wish it didn't. Can I see the whole thing? Um, uh, because people have told me and I seem to feel straighter. I don't know what to do. My parents aren't supportive. Okay, so <laughs> I've kind of talked about this, but, um, I think, like, as long as it's a joke, it's fine within the bisexual community. Like, if you're, like, unfortunately, I'm attracted to men. Like, even even people that are straight are, like, I, you know, like, men are shit. <laughs> um, but I think it's an issue when you don't... I think there's been a lot of invalidating people that are bisexual that are more attracted towards, you know, if, if, you're, if you're maybe, like, a cis female, if you're more attracted to cis men, because it's like, oh, well, it doesn't look gay but you're you're still bisexual um and that is the definition <laughs> i feel like you know some stereotypes can be really fun you know and harmful uh, not harmful you know like cuffing your jeans like that's not harmful that's funny um but when it comes to you know all bisexuals are only attracted to like two male celebrities and tons of you know like all i'm, I'm thinking like from like a like a cis female perspective um because i feel like those are the like bisexuals i see on my for you because i feel like i'm like more involved in like bisexual discourse on tiktok i don't say anything i just like they come up on my page um sorry i say um and like a lot i i think that you really you know if you're if you're feeling straighter it, it might just you know like if if you're Bisexuality is a fucking spectrum. You don't need to be more attracted to women. You can have never dated, you know, I don't know if you're a cis woman, but like, I'm using the example of a cis woman, you know, like, you could have never dated, you know, someone of the opposite sex, someone of a different gender identity, you know, besides just someone that is, you know, a cis male, and that is completely valid. You're still bisexual, so... Um, if you feel quote-unquote straighter, it might just be like you realize your attraction leans a little bit more one way But that doesn't mean that you're not bisexual unless you, you genuinely feel like you're not bisexual, but also um, We're talking about how your parents aren't supportive and the, <laughs> Be careful because I feel like sometimes like the brain can just do the subtle thing where like you try to convince yourself You're not something because you know It's it's a way to protect yourself. It's just a, a lot easier, but like I think also the fact that it's really, you know, like, clearly on your mind that, like, your parents don't accept you and you're, you know, that's that's something that's hard for you. I feel like, um, also be careful with that because you don't want to force yourself. Okay. Hello. Da -da 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 -da. <laughs> save Ming Ming. Hashtag save Ming Ming. Um, how, how's your day been? Good. I literally slept 12 hours which i feel like i really needed i just like had really bad quality sleep for like literally um just when i travel like regardless of any situation i just have really 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 bad sleep um and also there was just jet lag and stuff um and then when i came back to my sleep was just really messed up because you know i was going to sleep a lot then I got used to the other time zone. I came home and I was like, oh my god, it's 3 a.m. And I'm not tired. <laughs> Help. Um, so I've just been like slowly trying to fix my sleep schedule. But in the process, haven't been sleeping as much. And like, I just fucking made up for it. But I literally slept in until like 1230. So, you know, I'm like, it's already 3 p.m. What the heck? Uh, but it's okay. You know what? I, I probably needed it. It's just like feels kind of chill and lazy, you know, um, so many creeps, ew, what the heck, I literally have blue hair, I'm completely covered, like, you're not gonna get anything here, I have no makeup on, like, sorry, I'm putting on a cute emoji, so they know that I am not, you know, I'm just here for the gays, gals, and pals, okay, oh, I don't want to end it, no, where did the emojis go, okay, there's one that's really cute, I was such, okay, wait, let's see. There we go. Maybe? <gasps> cute! Oh my God, that's cute, okay. Wow. 
Ugh, my face looks all chubby and bleh. Okay. Um, <laughs> hashtag save Ming Ming. How do you handle someone gaslighting you? Ooh. Uh, <laughs> I don't... Mm, I guess just, like, awareness is really important. Um, are you going to make more songs about... Also, just making sure, like, you don't pick up on that habit. Um, you know what I mean? Like, like really under... Because I think a lot of people have the wrong idea of that definition. Because um, I see it, like, thrown around on social media, you know? Like, gaslighting is, is, you know, like, someone else hurting you and saying that they're the victim. And, you know, like, I've probably done it. I, I think I know multiple times where I've done it. And, like, you know, I think being aware is super important. It's something that, like, honestly, and this isn't to enable it, but, like, I, I think, I think, like, well, number one, I think growing up in a household where that's normalized, you know, it's something that you pick up on, and that's, you know, you, when you're raised with someone that does that, like, literally, since you're learning to talk, like, you know, you, you pick up on their habits. You just need to be aware and try to try to get out of that but when someone else is gaslighting you um it's really hard because you know if you're kind of like like I can have some um just like kind of like submissive like people pleasing tendencies and I feel like when other people you know say they're the victim like I get really you know I'm I'm like why why would I question this like I don't want to hurt them but you have to you know realize that doesn't excuse inappropriate behavior that you are receiving. Okay, cool. I'm not a therapist. Let's see. <laughs> are you gonna make more songs about LGBT? Um, sure. <laughs> you know, that's not leaving. So if you want, I didn't want to make like all my, I, well, I guess like if I wrote the song, it's gay. <laughs> um, I feel like I just have so much gay content out there and like, I still want to make it, but there's also like so many, you know, I think I really discovered that part of myself. I mean, obviously you're still discovering it every day and like, it's it's not something I'm ashamed of or anything. This isn't like internalized homophobia speaking, but it's more of just, you know, um, I think there's like even more to me than that. And I want to make sure that, you know, I know that and other people know that and appreciate that. Um, like I'm definitely, I definitely want to, make that content, but I also want to make other things, yeah, so, yep, okay, if I wrote a song, it's gay, <laughs> lol, <laughs> I'm glad you liked that, uh, oh, what about another gender fluid cover, I guess you're talking about how, ooh, okay, fine, I guess, because I, cause that's such a, because I go by different pronouns now, it's not the same, um, concept, it's even cooler, uh, I guess you're talking about how I did a cover of, um, Sweater Weather. I definitely want to do more. I have, like, pretty... I, I like my... When I... Like, like I like my voice when I sing low, and I feel like, um... So, like, there are some, you know, cis female artists that obviously do that. Um, like, Billie Eilish has a really cool voice, but I kind of... It was really fun, like, you know, singing, um, a song... Or singing a song that was just, like, sung by... I, I guess you're talking about Sweater Weather. Um, I definitely want to recreate more songs sung by cis men, for sure. That could be really fun. I'm trying to make sure that I use the right terminology. Like, I want to... Oh, this is, like, a random thing. <laughs> this is just a thought. But, like, if I ever say anything that's, you know, just... Because I know with everything I post online, I have good intentions, which... Also, like, you know, I mean, like, it, you can also murder someone and be like, it was with good intentions, but <laughs> that's, that's not what I mean. What I'm saying is, like, if I, if I say something that's, that's incorrect, like, you know, I'm, I'm, like, always willing to listen. Like, I was posting about, um, Autism Acceptance Month and the, like, I, I think I, I use the word awareness, but within the community, it, you know awareness, um, acceptance is just the better word, and it's just, it sounds more accepting and comfortable for the community, and, like, someone just commented that, was like, hey, we actually prefer this, and I was like, perfect, like, edited my caption, and now I know, 
Um, and I feel like that's the way it should be, you know? Like, I think this whole idea of just, like, calling people out is so weird, because, like, I just purely didn't know, you know what I mean? And, and every, like, there's so much, because there's so many different, you know, communities that are just, you know, they, they want to be heard. Like, there's, there's so much I probably still haven't learned, there's probably so much you still haven't learned, and, like, the only way you're going to be able to do that is just to, like, have two really respectful parties, you know? Like, hey, you know, just so you know, things are, you know, like, like, as a community, this is, you know, this is how we feel, this is what we like, cool, okay, I'm gonna listen, and I'm going to try to make you feel as comfortable as possible. There you go, so, I don't know, because I feel like I see so many, I see, I see problems with that on both sides, like, I see sometimes influencers, anyone that has a platform, you know, they just get very defensive instead of just trying to make people feel comfortable, which, like, I would never want to do, you know, and then I also feel like I see the other side of things where it's, like, people, um, people kind of, oh my god, words, <laughs> why am I still asleep? I, I took, like, oh my god, this is where my, like, brain is all over the place. I take sleep medication, that's another big reason why I, like, totally was fucked up because I traveled and I didn't remember my sleep medication and like it, it's not habit forming per se it's it's not horrible for you I take a pretty small dosage but it's almost like the placebo of it um because I don't think I actually need it but I mean I I do some nights I'm just so sensitive to not sleeping that I do need it you know what I mean like I don't need it to sleep every night but like I do kind of need a good sleep every night because I, I get very, 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 very depressed when I don't sleep. It's, like, one of the things that triggers it like crazy. That and drinking, just, nope, don't work for me. <laughs> um, like, literally every time if I don't sleep enough, I am miserable and, like, just waiting for the day to end. Um, I'm ranting about everything. So, um, let's just find another question. I am ranting. Okay. What's your favorite? What's your opinion of COVID-19? <laughs> um, opinion? I mean, uh, let's see. It's really, I think so many people are so insensitive because they haven't, you know, they haven't lost a family member and that's really fucked up and, and that shows a lot about, you know, I guess how... <laughs> a lot of people treat issues like this, you know, it's like, well, it hasn't affected me, so, you know, I'm gonna do what works for me, but then I'm sure people that have lost a family member, or have had COVID, or have had, you know, or have had COVID, like, they're completely treating it differently, and I think, you know, what I really try to do is, is, um, have their perspective in mind as well, and not just, you know, what I've gone through, because, this is not just about me, um, you know, <laughs> I have not had COVID, um, I did have a grandparent that had COVID, and that was pretty scary, um, but I've never lost a family member from it, but, like, be so fucking careful about your speech, because when you say, when you're saying the whole thing's made up, or it's not a big deal, you never, like, you know, that's that's coming from a perspective that's clearly privileged, you know? That's probably someone that hasn't lost someone because of COVID. And, you know, to say that when people have, have lost their family members, it's it's really, really insensitive. You, It, it just kind of shows me how a lot of people can't see things beyond their own perspective. And, like, you know, obviously, you know, do be be considerate. I, I think, you know, things are, are getting more safe, but still be considerate, no fucking parties, no, um, you know, like, we're not really at the point anymore, in my opinion, where, like, you have, you, you know, a, a trip to the grocery store is, like, maybe it still is for you, and that's valid, too, but, you know, I, I think things are getting a little more safe, but, like, still be considerate, you know, and, like, it's so weird, I was talking about this with someone, but, like, I guess p some people... It's different, people that got the vaccine because they're teachers, they're healthcare workers, this is different, but, like, people that just have some sort of privilege and got it for that reason, you know, and then treating the vaccine like it's some sort of, like, 
secret club that you're not a part of. Like, that's so... It's really weird how, you know, some people just kind of received this based off of wealth. I've seen that happen quite a few times, um, and it's it's pretty upsetting because I know a lot of immunocompromised people that had to fight for their vaccines or still have not gotten them. Um, and there's also so many people that have gotten the vaccine before everyone that were inconsiderate the whole entire time. Um, so... I don't know. That's, I guess, how I feel about it. Obviously, like, you know, I, I do certain things I have to do for my mental health. Like, I, I see my small group of people, and, like, we all, you know, like, we're all pretty safe, um, but, like, I don't think I could survive through this if it was just me all day, especially because, you know, I just came from, like, a home environment that was it's not the best for me. Um, where is Capricorns? That's my moon, if that helps anything. Okay. Save Ming Ming. Um, favorite thing that you did that year? Oh, that's... Uh, okay. I'm gonna go, but uh, go like my new picture. Oh my god, this adds blush, but also like I always have... I have really bad redness, I found out. I mean, I didn't find out. I kind of knew that. I don't know. Um... Because I used to have to go to a skin doctor all the time because my Accutane and even like when my skin changed, they're like, your face is so red. Yeah, maybe it's just like a pale thing. I don't know. I don't know. Um, but I hope you're all having a good day. I love you. Go fucking like those new pictures and comment your aesthetic and emojis. I'm, I genuinely like want to know how people describe them, especially like my audience. Look at that freckles. Oh my god, I used to have freckles right there and I really miss them. Wow, when I was a little baby, can we get a goodbye, my people? That's really cute. Okay, goodbye, my people. I'm gonna go, like, get ready, because I have not...